What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another problem from 629 is D carousel. So there's a carousel that has N figures of animals. Each figure is numbered from 1 to N in according to the carousel movement. After the nth figure, the figure with the number 1 follows. So each figure has its own type. The type of the animal corresponding to the figure, horse, tiger, and so on. The type of the animal of the i figure is... Uh, called T of I. So here's a figure. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have so we have nine figures, and then each of these represent the corresponding animal. So the number, each number, uh, each each figure represents a corresponding animal. Okay. So in this example, we have nine nine figures. N is equal to nine, and the 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 array T. Each number in array T represents the each of the animal type in these nine figures. So here we see five five one. So that's so in the beginning it's five five one. So five is like dolphins because we can see five five. Both of these are dolphins. So we have five five one fifteen uh, one five five one one. Okay. So. Yeah, each of the numbers in the array T represents a certain type of figure in this picture. Okay, so you see like five five one fifteen one five five one one. So like five five is like a dolphin. Uh, one is the horse. Fifteen is the tiger or cat thingy. Uh, yeah, one is a horse again. Five five is dolphins, and then we have one one horses. Okay, so you want to co color each of these in the following colors. You think it's boring if a carousel contains two different figures with distinct animals going one after the other co are colored in the same color. So we're, our task is to color the figures in such a way that the number of distinct colors is minimum as possible and there are no figures of the different types going one after another colored with the same color. So in other words, we are trying to color these figures with the minimum number of colors possible, right? And... Figures that are different animals have to be different colors, right? So, like, they don't want us to have different animals with the same color. They don't want us to do it. So, like, no figures of different types, one after the other, are colored in the same color. So, that means that different animals have to have uh, different colors. That's what it means. So, if you use K dif distinct colors, then color the figures denoted from 1 to K. Okay, so I'm going to explain this using... Pen and paper, pencil and paper, because this kind of, just, this is, I don't know how else you to explain this, okay? So I'm going to explain it with pen, pencil and paper. Okay, guys, so this is the figure that I just redrew, and this is really hard to look at, so I'm actually going to draw the actual array because I don't think any of you guys can understand what this means, okay? So I'm going to draw the actual array. So five, five, one. 15, 1, 5, 5, 1, 1. Okay, so this is the actual array. So our job is basically to minimize, to color all these figures and minimize the number of colors we're coloring it, right? And uh, figures right next to each other have to be different colors. So 5, 5, if I color this 1 and then uh, 5, 5, right? So, uh, no, no, my, my bad. So let's say in this case, five, one, these figures are different, right? Because they're not the same numbers, right? So that means they have to be different colors. So I can't just color these two like one, one at the same time, right? So that I have to color these different figures. If I have, if I have, if I'm using two colors, like one and two, then I have to color this one and then color this uh, two. Okay, I can't just be one, one. That's what they mean here. Uh, and also because I'm using an array now, we have to make sure that this last element that we're at, its next element is the beginning because it's looping in a circle like we saw in the figure above. So this adjacent value, which is right next to it, we have to make sure we're checking the one going looping back to the beginning also when we're coloring this, okay? So um, I actually couldn't solve this question because it's one of those questions where we're, we're go starting to head into like division one territory where we have to start using like different types of uh, algorithms that 
I don't really, I'm not a Division 1 person yet, so I don't know, but I'm going to explain the editorial with you guys, okay? So let's give, let's show you guys an example. Let's say I have an example where it's like, uh, one, two, two, one, two, two. Okay, so like, let's say, let's say we're not using this example, all right? We're not gonna use this. Let's say I have an example, one, two, two, one, two, two. Okay, so I have six. I have six elements, six figures, okay? Well, let's see. We're trying to minimize the number of distinct colors to use, right? So if I'm gonna minimize the number of distinct colors to use, what is the minimum number of colors I could use? Two. Right, I could use one and then two. Then I could alternate them one, two, one, two, one, two. Right. So if let's look at it, there's six elements here: one, two, three, four, five, six, and I want to color them uh, with uh, different values with different colors. So I'm going to do that. So I could just do this: one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. And if you could see this, uh, look at it. it's the element uh, for six elements. I could just color them one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, um, the, here's a problem is that let's say I have like seven elements, right? I can't just color this one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? Because then my last element one is gonna be the same element as the one starting in the beginning, right? And if these two values are actually like different, like let's say this was like a four, then that's an issue here, right? Because I just, I'm not allowed to have different values with the same color, right? We're trying to not have different values with the same color. We're trying to, different values must have different colors, okay? So like one, four, they cannot both have one, one, okay? So that's an issue here. But for any even numbers, so let's say, let's say I have four, size of four, one, two, three, uh, let's just give in random, let's say like this, okay? One, two, three, two, whatever, okay? Whatever figure it is. I could just color this one, two, one, two, okay? Because the last the last value is not gonna interrupt with my beginning value, okay? So if it's an even, if the size is even, I could just color in one, two, one, two, one, two for the whole array figure, okay? Because there's not gonna be an odd number. There's not gonna be a la the last value gonna interrupt whatever my original whole thing value of my whole arrays and like my whole coloring system going, okay? All right, now here's the problem. So we know that if it's even, I could just, if the size is even, I could do one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? Here's a problem, now we have to think about the case when it's odd. Okay, so let's say I have n is equal to five, okay? And in this example, we have every single adjacent number is completely different figures, okay? Completely different figures, right? Every adjacent, we don't have two adjacents with the same figure, okay? That could interfere like our LS example. So. In this case, I could, let's try just doing one, two, one, two. Okay, one, two, one, two. Okay, now at the last one, since I know this is gonna be a different figure than this, I know I can't put one here, my last value, okay? We're assuming that all these figures are different, right? All these figures are completely different. So my last number, I know I can't put a one here, because if I put a one here, then it has the same color as the beginning starting value, okay? But I can't put a two here either. Right? If I put a two here, it'll have the same value as this adjacent, right? Every single different color must have different colors, right? So what can I do? I could put a three. So I could literally just put a three. I could have a different color and put a, different, a three. So for even numbers, uh, not even numbers, for odd numbers with odd sizes and completely different figures, all figures are different, I could just color with a minimum number of colors, num colors, Min color, num colors is gonna equal to three, okay? I could put one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two in all these, everything before, and then the last value, I could just put three, okay? So that's how you do this problem, okay? For no, this is assuming that there's no adjacent, no adjacent uh, figures that are say, the same, okay? So as you can see here, all the figures are different. No adjacent figures are the same in this case, okay? So that, that's what I'm saying here. All right, now things get very complicated when you have figures that are adjacent and the same and it's odd, okay? So I'm gonna give an example like in here. One, two, one, two, two, okay? So here, let's give, let's give the actual example. 
One, two, one, two, two. Okay, so here's the problem. Okay, so these values are, so what am I gonna do here? So we know that the, there's, there's some, so there's some, there's adjacent figures here, like this and this, right next to each other, adjacent right next to each other, that are the same type, same figure, okay? So here's a problem here. I can't just do one, two, one, two, one, two. Because if I do that and I put a three, well, well, I could do one, two, one, two, one, two, and then a three, but then that's, there's actually a way to color it so that I don't have to do that, okay? Because I, I could actually use two colors to color this, okay? As you can see in one of the examples here, they use two colors to color this. They colored it as one, two, one, two, two, okay? So pretty much if adjacent figures that are at the same color, uh, not same color, the same figure, right? Adjacent figures that are the same figure, like these two, right? It's right next to each other, two, two, right? I could color them with the same color, okay? But I also could color them with different colors because there's no, they're adjacent, they're, the figures are the same, they're fine. So we have to figure out a way to color them with, to find a formation that allows you to do this coloring, okay? So uh, I'm gonna explain the code how they did this. So let's see, in the code that they explain here, what we could do is we could loop from, once we find the adjacent indexes, Okay, so well, here's what the editorial did. Let's say I'm gonna find, I'm gonna loop through here and I find this adjacent index. One, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, four, and then this is index four, and then this is index five, okay? So, oh, wait, wait, no, wait, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, okay let's index by zero, okay? Just, ju just because, I mean, that's how arrays work, okay? Zero, one, two, three, okay? So this index, let's say I find the index where they're adjacent and the same type. Okay, now what do I have to do? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to loop from this point onward, that it's the same type, and fill it with different colors. So we're gonna do one, two, one, two, one, two, from here on forward. So that's gonna be one, two, and then there's no more, none there, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we are gonna loop from, um, oh, actually, my bad. My bad. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. From this index onward, I'm gonna I'm gonna alternate from one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so from this index onward, I'm gonna alternate one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so that ensures that I'm gonna have different uh, values from this index onward. Okay, all right. From here, this index to the bottom, I'm gonna alternate one, two, one, two as well. So I'm gonna basically alternate um, one, then two, one, two. Okay, so this is gonna ensure that. I'm not going to have any different uh, problems coloring because what this is gonna ensure is that at this point, these two values are gonna have the same color, okay? And that's good, these two values have the same color, like it doesn't matter, right? We don't care if, uh, like what we care is different different types have to have different colors, right? S same types can have same colors, like that doesn't matter. So this ensures that uh, one, they're gonna be the same color, and then if I'm coloring everything alternating this way downward, then I'm I ensure that all these different uh, figures are going to have different different uh, how how should you say this? Uh, they're gonna have different colors. Like all the different figures from this point downward is gonna have different colors, and all different figures from this point upward is gonna have different colors. Okay, so that that actually helps a lot. Okay, and it also ensures that. There is no more, uh, no issues involving colors, okay? Uh, yeah, and let's say we did have like another uh, different type of coloring, like the same type, same type. Uh, then you, then it also fixes that as well, because like it doesn't matter if they have the same color and different, uh, same type but different color. Like it doesn't matter about that. What we really want is to have different colors, uh, different types have the different colors, as you see here. So the different types, one, two is a different type. And they have different colors. Okay, so that's that's what we really matter. Okay, so yeah, th that's how you do this problem. I'm gonna code it up with you guys, and then I'll pretty much yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, so I forgot to add something. If if all the figures have are the exact same type, so like two, 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 right? 
I could just literally make all these figures have the same color. I can make them one, 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 one. And the reason why is because uh, there's no different figure that has, there's no, yeah, there's no different figure in this, in this situation here. Like there's no different figure. There's no two, one, there's no two, three, two, four. And there's no figure in this, this array that I have to change colors. So same figures, exactly the same type. I could just lay, put them all as one, 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 one. And so the minimum number of colors is one. So min colors is one. Okay, so I, I forgot to explain that to you guys. So yeah. Okay guys, so I don't feel like actually uh, retyping my solution over and over again. So I'm actually just gonna sh explain my solution to you guys right here. So then I don't have to retype it, okay? So what did I do first? Well, first I had to read in the the array, okay? So uh, first, before everything, we have to read the number of test cases and then while the number of test cases is dropping, then I'm gonna read in my array, uh, my number of elements, and then I have to create my array. This array is basically the different type of figures, right? Remember T, that's the all the fi type of figures that we have for e, uh, for every figure, right? With the different figures that we have to check that no adjacent, uh, no different figure must uh, have the same color, right? No different figure can have the same color, right? D different figures must have different colors, right? We have to check that, right? So here's the, the data. Data is basically just representing every single figure. Okay, so I have a boolean called all equal because remember if they're all equal I could just label them all as ones, right? So that's why I have this boolean to check if it's all equal, right? Originally I set it to true, okay? Then I'm going to read in my, all my, my data, my values, right? All my figures that I'm reading in. Um, if I'm not in the first figure, so if I'm not reading the first figure, so that checks the i is not equal to zero, right? I'm going to check the figure right below it. Right, and if it's not equal, then I'm gonna set my all equal to as false, right? Because that means that there's at least one of them is not equal, okay? And then I'm gonna set all, all of them as false, uh, all equal to be false, okay? All right, then I'm going to have my vector answers, and this answer is going to store the every single coloring that I store for each uh, each figure, right? So here. I have, uh, I also have a boolean called same adjacent and I set equal to false in case of to check if there's an adjacent element that's the same, right? If there's an adjacent figure that has the same type, then I have to check that, right? Remember, we have that other case. Okay, so uh, if, if it's still all equal, right? Like all the elements are equal, right? Like that means that this, this never happened. This, let's say this never happened and all the elements are all equal. Well, then I could just, print out one and then loop through all the number of elements and print one every single time. All right, that's what I did here. And then I printed an NL, new line. Okay, so that's the easiest case to do. The next easiest case is if the number of elements, remember we said in the beginning, is even. If the number of elements is even, then we know that the last element can't be like different than the first, right? And I could just let it one, two, one, two, one, two. So I said, I do that here. If last element is even, then I'm going to set the total the minimum number of colors, print out the minimum number of colors, is gonna be two. And then I'm going to literally just print out one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, I'm gonna loop through from i equals zero to the n, and that's the number of times uh, I'm gonna print out one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, here, is, this is just to print out one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? So if i mod two is equal to zero, I print out one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? Here's where things get interesting. After this else, this means that it, the number of elements is odd, okay? And this is where it pretty, gets pretty interesting here. All right, so what am I going to do? I'm going to loop through from what, all my elements, right? All my elements, all my figures inside. I'm going to check if my current figure is equal, equal to the figure right next to it, right? Figure right next to it. What, do I, what does this represent? This represents mod, uh, so i plus one mod n. The reason why I'm doing this is because if I'm at the last figure, right, last figure, I have to loop back to the beginning, right, to check if the big last figure compared to the beginning. And this helps prevent any issue with the bounds, right? If I do i plus one, then mod by n, that would, the last number is gonna go back to the beginning. So my, I, when I'm at the last, at the end, I'm gonna check the beginning again, right? That, that makes sure that, 
fixes that edge case. So uh, if if this case is true, what am I going to do? I'm going to set my same adjacent is equal to true. The reason why I do this is so that uh, if the if I have two elements that are the same adjacent, right, that are the same figure and they're adjacent next to each other, then I am going to set uh, do could do set these things right I need this to basically make sure that I don't print the the threes right so like if this is false then I'm gonna print threes like uh, I'm gonna print the three there down there so I'll check that I'll explain that later but for now same adjacent is true right um, so if same adjacent is true right what are we gonna do we're gonna loop from I plus one which is the one where it's the same uh, same number, right? The the first, so we found the first occurrences when they're diff, uh, when they're the same figure, right? I'm gonna loop from that point onward, and what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna have this. Uh, this this is a pretty cool trick you could do that I, I learned from the editorial, where uh, I have a value in uh, x is equal to zero, right? And then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna basically XOR this x to be zero x over by one and then x over by zero and then one so this x is literally just going to set one two one two one two okay that's what i learned from this editorial so from this position onward that it's the same i'm going to set set it one two one two one two that's what i learned in this editorial yeah so that's what this for loop does it's going to set everything onward be that at the point one two one two one two one two right uh that point where the two values are the same it's going to set one two one two one two okay all right, and then then I'm gonna do the same thing from the second position downward, right? So the, there's the first position that I'm gonna set one two one two one two to the right, one two one two one two, and then from here on the other position I'm gonna set one two one two one two downward. All right, and that will ensure that at least one of these values will have the same uh, color, right? And then the different values are gonna have different colors. That's what it's gonna ensure. Okay, so that's what this for loop does. And then once this is done, I just print out the minimum number of colors, which is two, and then I just print out my answer. And then I break. Okay, I break. The reason why I break is because I don't have to do this again, right? I don't have to do this for loop again. I break after I'm done coloring. I'm done coloring. I break. Okay. All right. Now, uh, let's say that we didn't have the same adjacent, so the same adjacent is still false. So this this never occurred, right? If that never occurred, I just print out three as the minimum number of colors, and then I'm going to print out one, two, one, two, one, two, except the last element that I'm going to print out for the last element, I'm going to print out three. Okay. So that's what this does. Uh, this, um, this looping from zero to N minus one is going to print out all the, all the elements from zero up to the last one. I'm going to print out one, two, one, two, one, two, except the last element, I'm going to print out a three and that prints out. That basically ends up the whole code of carousel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.